Good morning everyone. Um, this is my first time of doing these blogs or vlogs or whatever you want to call them. Um, basically I'm a photographer and I'm going to teach you and show you techniques that I use um, as a photographer. So we're out on a day trip today. The weather's not that great but hey, still make it work. Um, we're off to Dunster Castle. Uh, we've never been there before so it could be an interesting one. Um, but I've seen some great shots so yeah, I hope you enjoy the ride and Happy view. So, we're in the car and we're off, by the way, I mean we, this is my partner. Hi. And that's our little one, say hi Darcy. Hi. No. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so, let the journey begin. Uh, so we're over halfway now. Um, for any of you that have children, you'll probably recognise these songs. Because, uh, yeah, this is what it does to keep her quiet. Yeah. I know, it's great. So uh, yeah, we'll see you when we get there. Yeah, we've made it. Um, so here we are, just walking up to the entrance now. And the partner in town, and the little one. And that's where we're going. So yeah, there's obviously the gardens and that. This is where we're at. <laughs> Yeah? So we're just going to take a walk down to the river and see what that's like. It's not raining, which is always good. Hey! <laughs> she not feel like doing it? No, not. Not today. She wants to crawl. <laughs> Bless her. So as you can see, they've got cool little children things here. What we like to do is obviously, my tips for our photographers, always rack your place first. So as you can see, there's a nice little stream here with a bridge. So I'm just trying to figure out how I'd like to take my shot. And obviously there's quite fast flowing water behind me which is always good to use um, so yeah that's pretty much what I like to do is have a look at the place first and then we'll go from there see what happens there's some nice plants around here but I don't know what they are I'm not much of a flower person um, but yeah we'll wait and see what happens keep working and uh, keep walking around now we found a point which we really like so as you can see from behind and over my shoulder there's a nice little waterfall place, um, which is pretty cool. A few people are in the way, but get used to that as a photographer. They kind of have a tendency to linger, which is annoying, but hey, being a photographer, you've got to be a pupil person. As you can see, the stream's lovely. Um, so yeah, we'll keep walking. It's got really nice views behind, actually. Not too sure where that's to, but uh, it's quite nice. So yeah, we'll take you over the bridge. And obviously, there they are. There's a fan blam. There's people on it. That is a little stream. So yeah, we're just um, now heading to a place, I think they call the water mill, don't they? Yeah. Is it the water mill? Yeah. So actually a working water mill, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, don't know much about it if I'm honest, but doesn't look very pushchair friendly, no. <laughs> as you can tell. Uh, Don't know how we're going to do that. But, but yeah, that. make a great shot, I must admit. So, in a minute what we'll do is we'll obviously keep walking around and then once I'm happy with where well, I want to take some pictures, I'll show you then how I take my pictures. And then, um, yeah, the tips and that, that I give you. And Obviously the weather's very key. It's not raining at the moment, which is good, but it's very overcast. So, yeah. Found a nice spot actually. Um, I'm just waiting for these people to get away. They never do. Um, so over my shoulder here, lovely little waterfall. Lovely well, little waterfall, should we say? With um, with obviously the bridge. So my plan is to obviously get a nice little snow capture on it as best as we can. Um, I'll show you all my equipment and what I use to basically capture the shot, and we'll go from there. So literally, let me get set up, and then I'll take you around. 
and what I use and how I'm going to take the shot. So, this is my Nikon D4S. Um, I preferred this Nikon to most of them. I did actually scout around the market before. I'm very much a Nikon man. Um, I did look at Canon, if I'm honest with you. Didn't really like it, didn't like the layout of it. Preferred the layout of the Nikon, so that's what I do. Also, I'm using the Sigma lens. So yeah, this is the Sigma one, which is 24, as you can see there, to 70. I'm also using the Crocolin system, which is I really enjoy using. Uh, people prefer Lee Big Stop, but I prefer this one. Um, the 10 stop filter I'm using is also from the same brand, and this is the shot I'm after, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, basically, I'm capturing the image now, so it's on a long exposure. So, I'm stopped right down to f22, um, which is as far as my lens will go. I'm already into about a 20 second exposure just to capture um, this pretty much. So we'll just wait and see what happens um, and we can go from there. So I've already had a couple of people crossing, I don't think they're going to ruin the shot and also it's just started to rain which will make it more fun, more interesting. But um, yeah we'll go from there and the uh, third attempt at trying to catch this picture there's obviously people walking across the bridge. Can't really stop them, I wish I could. Um, so we're on to about 50 second exposure already. Um, and then we'll, I'll show you the final product and see what it looks like. So yeah, I'll continue with the video and then we'll find some other places to take some shots and um, we'll keep, keep, keep you walking around basically and keep you busy. So yeah, see you in a little while. One of my hints is, when I hear water, I get interested. Um, as you can hear water, I'm interested. So we're going to take a walk down this little path here. Um, just to see what it's about, really. So there's a lovely little bridge over my shoulder. Here you come. Say hi. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to see what this is about here. Um, there's 17 acres of land. So there's a lot to choose from, obviously, if you can cram it all in in a day, I'd be impressed. But yeah, this is a lovely little spot. So we're going to do um, set up here, I think. So as you can see, that's going to make for a great shot. Lovely shot. So I'll get back to you once again, I'm set up, because that's what mainly takes the time, if I'm honest with you, is setting your kit up. But once you're set up, you can shoot all day. Um, so yeah, see you in a minute. Um, what I've had to do is obviously lean my tripod against the barbed wire fence because I can't get a great angle on it. But yeah, exactly the same system, um, same uh, same lens, same cooling system. Um, obviously my tripod too, I use a Van Gaal tripod. Um, the reason why I use it is because at the base here, it has metal studs that are brilliant to go into the floor. Um, which is obviously great for outdoor photography, which is what this is about. Sorry, my little ones haven't been playing the game right there. Oh, how fun. <laughs> so yeah, basically, uh, let's get the shot and then um, we can go from there. Oh yeah, just so don't forget, the ISO I'm using at the present moment of time is around, is around, uh, that so it's under 100 ISO, so it's 0 0.3rd of a light. Um, so, yeah, we'll go from there and see what happens. So, I'll show you the image in a minute and uh, yeah, sit tight. So basically, I've been filming now for about a minute, and some people now decided to stop on the bridge. As you can see, well, you might not be able to see them, but they're just behind the tree there. So yeah, fantastic. 
<laughs> joys of being a photographer. But we did actually manage to capture one, um, actually a couple, but you can't really see them. So what I'll do is I'll, um, oh, that's not so bad. Um, I'll finish the link and then I'll put a picture in between so you guys can see um, what the finished bit's like. So yeah, we're off to the next location. Now I think we're gonna go and get some dinner. The little one's getting hungry. There, there, there are the people. There they are. There's the nasty people. Ruin my shop. But can't blame them, that's what they do. So, uh, speak to you guys in a bit. Yeah, we made it to the top of the castle. And as you can see, some, um, some spectacular views actually. Really, really nice up there. Um, that's the Bay of Minehead over there. As you can see, actually, I think that might be Blue Anchor. But yeah, it goes right the way down there. Some amazing walk. We're going for a walk through the little gardens up here. Um, that's pretty cool. What do you think? Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, that's all you're going to get is yeah. 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 So, at least it stopped raining for now. Um, don't know how long it's going to last, but we'll wait and see what happens. I say gardens, it's more of a woodland trail, if I'm honest. There's not yeah. much in the way of plants. Just yeah? Just yeah. Just yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll try and get some better shots around the place and see what we can come up with. There's a couple plants and that to get pictures of, but that's probably about it. So, see you guys in a bit. So, um, out the corner of my eye, I kind of spotted this, this cool little ruin. Um, kind of like this going on. It's kind of old and really cool and then I thought have a look out this window and as you can see there's a really nice view coming through these bars so what we're trying to do is obviously capture part of Dunster Castle just there as well as obviously the sea in the foreground there so let's have a look and see what it looks like I'd just like to thank you all for uh, viewing um, I hope you enjoy it Hope you obviously got some tint, tips and tints, tips and tints. <laughs> Can't even say it. Um, but yeah, this is Dunster. We're now National Trust members, so you're probably going to see a lot more of these places at National Trust. But that's not the only thing we do. I actually go out sometimes, try and go once a week and go to different places to get different shots. So basically, uh, hope you enjoy. You guys enjoyed in viewing it, and uh, hope to speak to you guys soon. Cheers.